Hi, my name is Todd Middleton from Enelux LCDs. Behind us here you have the 106 micro LED panel for the technical information. Okay. Hi, please introduce yourself. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Your name? Uh, I'm Elton and uh, I will introduce <coughs> our Inolux micro LED for you. Currently, uh, our micro LED is a very special structure. Hey, it's a uh, blue LED only and uh, laminate the uh, color conversion. So we mentioned this is blue LED only and uh, plus the uh, uh, color conversion material to transfer the uh, uh, red light and the uh, green light. And uh, we have a uh, very special, is uh, our MPL counter ratio is very high. Uh, our MPL counter ratio is uh, at times of the uh, OLED or LCD. And another special is uh, we do the uh, uh, seamless tightening. Currently, this uh, tightening unit is uh, roughly the uh, twelve point three inch, uh, and uh, we use the uh, nineteen six piece to tighten to this one hundred six inch. And uh, the third is uh, our uh, color gamma. <coughs> color gamma is uh, shifted to the BT 2020, 90 percent. And uh, uh, finally, the special is uh, we have the ultra wide view angle. You can see the front view and the side view. The luminous and uh, the color shift is uh, no different. This is our uh, core feature. Is this the best micro LED display in the world? Of course. The better, best one? Best one. Uh, but uh, using the color filter, is there any loss in brightness or the color filter? What is the disadvantage of using color filter? No, currently we mentioned it's the color conversion, so not a filter. We we uh, use the color conversion from, uh, based on blue and the uh, covered uh, converted to the red and the green, so no brightness loss. So uh, does that mean there's a pattern with the? Do you, do you use uh, what do you use to make the color convention conversion? Is it the quantum dots? Quantum dot, yes. So there's a there's a pattern exactly on every pixel. Of course, of course. How do you do that? Currently, we use the uh, inject printing. So inject printing is a uh, ESG technology. So if you use uh, traditional photolithography, we will use many, many material. So we use uh, inject printing to achieve the ESG technology. Um, inject printing is amazing, no? Yeah. And you can do it so big because you make the tiles one by one? Of course, because we mentioned it's free tiling, so you can you can tie into a uh, vertical direction or horizontal direction, what size or what shape you need. So I see a little bit like uh, uh, something there. Is it because of the angle or is it calibration can be improved or is already fully calibrated to not see any tiles? You know, you, you, the, best, the best solution would be uh, to see zero. Impossible to see a, a seam, right? Of course, of this? course. If you very close, uh, you still see some uh, tiling edge, but actually the the uh, suitable uh, view view distance is roughly three me three to four meters. But actually, we still improve this this uh, visible tiling edge. But maybe if you go around, maybe this is the best one of a tiling display. Maybe there's also something to do with the codec and the edge of the video of each tile or something like that. They need to be uh, smooth all the way. Do you know what I mean? No. Nope. Like, uh, I, okay, I also don't know what I mean. <laughs> okay. But okay, so uh, you can make bigger, 8K. What is the resolution now? Of course, we just uh, four times this display is achieved to uh, 200 8K. So that would be 212 inch. Yes. That's 8K. Yes. All right, is the price okay? Price of 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 okay. How much? Is less than 106k? It's kind of. You cannot say. Yeah. Yeah, cannot secret, say. secret. Sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Sorry. sorry. Thanks a lot. Uh, anything else you talk about here at the booth? I can uh, introduce the other one. Too. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what do we see here? Yeah, this is an inner last uh, 3D negative eye display. Yeah. How does and it work? How does it work? Because we have an eye tracker and. Uh, some optical component on the surface, and uh, we have uh, our own algorithm to let your left eye and right eye get a different viewing angle image. Is it light field? Yeah, it's kind of light field. Kind of light field. Yes. And it's how many how many uh, fields do you have there? 
Yeah, actually, because eye tracking will detect the UI and uh, let you keep get the correct image for left and right eye. So it have a no like a position or something limitation. It's very very sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, also it connect uh, with a real game. So this is a commercial game. You can use, you can play with a normal game, but uh, with the three D feeding. Uh, will the gamer get any tired to do the 3D screen for a long time or it's not getting tired because okay. it's so sharp? Now, because the uh, algorithm and the uh, eye tracking is very quick, so you will not feel something latency or delay. I, feel, I thought you will feel more comfortable now. Is it an 8K display? Uh, currently it's 4K. 4K. Yeah. So somehow you use the 4K, but do you see the full 4K? Each eye is getting a 4K. Okay. Currently, each I get a full HD. Now, full HD. Yes. All right. Uh, so that's uh, that's some trick that's happening. Only one person at a time can see this, right? Yes. And what is this one? It's about uh, 27. It is so the, the same. same. Yeah. Yeah. Can we move to the uh, Inno Gallery now? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. So this uh, Inno Ross Inno Gallery display. So we have a 42 inch and 27 inch. The 42 inch is more close to square. It's eight by nine. Great aspiration and the 27, 16 by 9. So the 27 inch is the latest one we have ambient light sensor integrated. So our color temperature and the luminance can adjust it by the ambient lights. So it's reflective, reflective technology? No, it's a transmissive type of LCD. What yeah, is a mimetic, mimetic painting display? Right, because we have a special surface treatment to so reduce the, uh, the surface reflection very low and uh, co to perform like uh, uh, papers. Yeah. It, uh, uh, it looks like uh, it was a painting right there. Yeah, it looks like real paint. But yeah. it would not help to have a light in front of it, right? right? Why do you have a light in front of it here? Because they want to build in an ambient light sensor. This one haven't, we haven't built up yet. Yeah, ambient but light, the, so that means it becomes brighter. Yeah, when, the, when it's ambient light brighter, we adjust the backlight to, to compensate the ambient lights. And also the color temperature too. So it's LCD. It's LCD. Yes. All right. And can you say something else about how do you implement this LCD? Is um, it uh, IPS? Yeah, it's IPS uh, display. But basically, the surface treatment is totally different from the current LCD uh, displays. Yeah. Is it kind of like a matte? Uh, you matte surface. Can the surface anti anti reflection. Anti and, yeah anti reflection and anti glare. But it's not a regular anti-career, it's a, the recipe is, diff is different.